Hello, greetings. This is Gilles Mancillon. I thought I'd come and say hello, wish you a good day, continue to speak about philosophy, so, so, tr tr the transcendental psychology of non-being, the, the science of ascension, the law of one, for all it is about discovering the inner love that transcends all the limitation. And uh, first I wanted to talk about a very old concept, a philosophical concept that is uh, comes from Greek, in antique Greek, Greece, and, and it is uh, it is the understanding that man as a, or humanity, you know, man and woman, of course. Um, when I speak of man, I always include the woman, for we are one and the same, which is the opposite side of the same. Um, and uh, is that we don't have archetype. We do not have an archetype. There is two archetypes that we may choose: is the lower animalistic function or the higher angelic function above. So it's, a, and we have to accept that we have both of those archetypes and always try to choose the highest, the highest. Um, choice we can make for um, in the Urantia book I recommend this book the book of Urantia it's it's an urantia.org on the internet or you can get a paper book and it's about revelation there's a lot of wisdom in this book it's both in audio book and written they, they explain that we all start this career as mortal beings on a materialistic uh, planet for their uh, thousands of, of billions of worlds in this, in this universe that is very young, but yet very much older than what we can think at this point. Uh, we all start as mortal beings and then we ascend uh, after we, we passed on, we, we, we complete our cycle in, in the lower frequency, in the lower aspect of the lower world. We, we ascend into the sphere, the celestial sphere of our system, then we graduate, we ascend to the celestial sphere of our constellation, we ascend and once we graduate to the celestial sphere of our local universe and then we move beyond to the minor sector, the major sector and the super universe. Then we graduate, we, we slowly but surely through all those many incarnations through a celestial realm, following the paradise ascension realm, we are eliminating progressively the animalistic origin and function that we, we, we accumulated during this originals, uh, all the original lifetimes that we had. And then once we graduate from there, we are launched to the central universe in the pursuit of eternity to eventually emerge, wake up in, in, the, in, in the central isle of paradise to, to find our first source and center, to become eventually the finalitas or the paradise citizens. Um, and so, so we, it, is, it is a long process. You do not want to judge yourself for all having those, those, uh, those lower aspects, yet it is always about making this highest choice because we already stand at the gates of heaven. The gates of heaven are already open. And you know you are invited, uh, so why not come in? Why not? What is it fear? Why are we frozen before the gate? And so let the love of God warm you up and... Um, and, and pass through the gate, accept yourself, know that, that, that the gates are open, everybody is awaiting you on the other side of the gate, and they, they've been waiting a long time for us to pass through this gate. And what, what awaits us, the truth that awaits us, is far beyond all our hopes and, and dreams and desires. The truth of, of, of spirit and God is, is far greater than anything we can imagine. For people may believe or not of all those things I'm talking about, but I've been on my ascension path for a very long time, and and many times, or a few times, uh, God, divinity, descended uh, from from the realm of infinity to communicate with me, and I've always been mesmerized by the the beauty, the amazing uh, uh, energy that, um, that that the Creator brings. Uh, when he comes down for, from from this highest estate, although God is one and in all spheres, there is this. Um, always appears to me in the same unique light, the light of infinity, the light of truth, which is the light of my ascension. But, but the, those are real. Uh, the existence of God is something that is very real. Uh, for most atheists will believe that um, that God is something that those who believe uh, in God have invented to reassure themselves when it's actually if, uh, the, the truth of God is far greater than anything we can, uh, we can conceive or imagine. Um, for, for God tells you, uh, uh, say, say, my God, uh, beloved creator, I come to you now. Just to repeat to you, I come to you now. I come as I am. Take me as I am. And, and God will receive you. Get, get, the idea is to get closer, to utilize our intention, to, to pass through the gate. For what we think, we think we have to become this this high of, this divinity when actually we already are that. And it comes down to, to the very old oracle of Apollon. 
another Greek um, uh, the, the oracle of Delph, which is uh, no thyself, nothing more for the for who we are is already the divinity. But there is all those something more that is all of our judgment, all of our ego beliefs, and all of that mortal consciousness and animalistic uh, uh, points of views. For once we let go of all that, we discover the, the inner light of soul. And so, uh, so it's uh, we already are that which we seek. We an understanding. Everybody's got the, the same divinity within themselves, whether it is enlightened beings or, or beings that are complete in darkness, who are, who are in lower cycles. They have the equal divinity. So respect the divinity, even if you cannot. Re it's very hard to respect those who are constantly hurting the world. But so, so it's not about we want to respect the person, but then we we can we, we can. Um, censure their, their action but not the person themselves because for God does not love the sin but he loves the sinner if we can put it in a frame that is a that is a contemporary frame uh, but understand that everybody's got equal divinity so send always the light to the inner divinity of all being that will assist them in, in transcending this lower animalistic part and so they will they will get a glimpse of what what this higher divinity higher light may be and um, for we, we experience life through, when we awaken in the morning through our physical senses, the physical senses that give us an understanding of this physical reality, this matrix, this material reality. And this is kind of blinding us to the possibility of the invisible world for this, like this, this Lao Tzu, say the master Lao Tzu, he says the five color blind men to see the, the, the truth, uh, the five sounds uh, make men uh, deaf to, to hear the higher, the higher sounds of the universe. So it's the understanding is to, to always seek to close down your senses, to forget the whole world and to go inside your body, go seek it out inside your body for the body was created as a temple, as a microcosm, a universe, everything that was, as the universe was created, the macrocosm, the, the, the microcosm, the physical body was created equal to the, to the universe and it is a more refined state, there is a miniature universe and countless riches that we come to discover, so it's about dropping from the mind into the heart breathing in the heart, allowing the heart to, to be open and then going down through the root and then through the legs and go anchoring that into the earth and then returning to the heart. And it's about finding out what all those treasures that we have within. That's why meditation is very essential. Part of the light that wanted to escape for the light. The, the light is, uh, is, is the essence. This is what we seek to, to an integrate. And so the uh, the more we turn into uh, into our into our, our inner self, the more we'll get glimpse of of the spiritual reality. We'll get glimpse of wisdom. we we'll more and more, and so. Um, but we want to have compassion for our emotional body. Our emotional body is like sometimes it's, it's making us feel very good or very low. But it's like if we have compassion for, for this aspect, we can become neutral in relationship to emotion and, and, and have compassion for it. It will turn into intuition. It will gi guide us to higher wisdom. I'm going to pull a few cards. And... Uh, For the, the highest wisdom is, is droiture, which is uh, righteousness. It's about being, uh, being straight, being as clear as a crystal, to, 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 to let go of the flows, to, 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 to align with the law. What we need to understand is unity for all is one and one is all. There is no... Um, uh, we have to... Uh, we, we become more inclusive. We become less separated. We, we do no longer draw a line between things. We can, we can let go of the shield. Uh, when we so so we can become more of that one, always to, and, and for love, what we need to do is family. It's about reconnecting to our soul and our spirits and our guides and uh, and uh, and, uh, and the whole universe is our family. In essence, all humanity is one family. We have not discovered that yet, and that we, once we discover that, we'll develop friendship and we will be more understanding of each other. We'll stop fighting. We'll stop making wars. We'll stop jealousy and envy. We, everybody will be able to find their way into what they need. But uh, for now, we want to reconnect to our soul family for those those beings that we have uh, we have uh, written soul agreement with that will make us feel good that we'll will be able to support each other to, to complement each other to reflect each other, and uh, the outcome is action. There is uh, as we as we become free, we'll we'll be moving to a new level of action. 
for the right action is important not to overdo things to get exhausted but to do the right action there was a uh, madame Mar mary that um that was uh, bringing a, an invitation to a visualization that was uh, she was talking about um, you know, channel message about um uh, about uh, making peace with the inner child. It's like when we, we walk through a forest, you visualize yourself that you have on, on your left hand, you're holding a, a child, a little girl, and on the right hand, it's a little boy. And you're walking with those two children. But those two children, as you walk through the forest, the, 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 the little girl represents your fear and, and, and your little boy represents your anger. And so you, you first you turn to the little girls and you try to reassure her that she, she doesn't want to move through the forest because it's all those... those uh, invisible monsters so reassure her that you can guide her through that that you will see how, how, how safer she'll feel and the, this aspect of fear will be diminished and and then you turn to the little boy and he doesn't want he wants to find a place to hide where he feel comfortable he doesn't want to go beyond the, the the comfort zone and so to just to turn to him and, and and reassure him that you will guide him as well and together we can we can traverse that and find the, the, the find this great um, this great opening behind beyond that and and when the two children will will feel um feel safe to you walk along with them you can guide them and then you find this uh, this opening where, where this, they'll be able to play and, and and find this joy so so it's about understanding this uh, the, those two aspects those little children that we have within that needs to be the, the fear aspect and the anger aspect the anger was created as as shield to protect ourselves we have to let go of the shield we have to let go of the fear in order to move through that and as we move through that eventually we'll discover the, the, the magic child which is in the sixth dimension which is the total fulfillment of that inner inner self inner divinity we all have this inner child within us and so con we can communicate with those two children and so to, to reassure them that everything will be fine you will be there to, to protect them to guide them uh, to, to, to play with them um, and so uh, very soon also I wanted to, to mention that um, it's been um, the, the collective consensus of the of the higher higher intelligence of, of uh, is 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 we, we're going to be coming into the disclosure of extraterrestrial life. It will be far more than just videos or photos. It's going to be a full disclosure uh, into the whole of humanity very soon in the coming years. And this will change a lot of things about our self importance, and we'll we'll be able to integrate a far higher understanding. For the the most of humanity are ready for that. They ask it. They, they, they may not be conscious of their readiness, but they are ready for that. It will not be um, creating mass panic, hysteria, shock, or rage. For for it has to, uh, it will be uh, it will be presented. It will not come. For all the governments are already aware of the existence of higher intelligence, but they want to. They do not want to be the ones to, to, to bring it up because they, they will lose their own power. Um, but it will not come from government because most government, most leaders of government will, will utilize that for political gain. So it has to come from a neutral person, a neutral group of media. Or it has to be brought into the whole of humanity in a neutral way so everybody will be able to create this direct heart-to-heart -heart connection. And uh, but it's 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 in the works. It will be coming. Eh? All of humanity will be aware. Will be know. And this will change a lot of things about uh, how we approach life and and will provide new solution for the problems of today. And once that happens, all the light workers, those who have uh, been. Um, who have been um, militant in relationship to bringing this higher consciousness, this higher light will be, uh, will have far more responsibility and will be reinstated as valuable within society rather than be taken not seriously because we live in a materialistic flat society that's fully just uh, flat materialistic. Um, rather than, than to allow the, the magic and mystery to continue to unfold and to, 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 to start to enjoy life and to take care of our planet. Uh, for all those who will be coming to the forefront. Uh, finally, I wanted to say that it's important to, I want to bow to you, to your divinity, and I want you to, to bow to your own divinity, to your own light inside. It's not about mental thing. It's about recognizing your divine soul. When you do this bowing, you recognize your wholeness, you recognize your soul. And then you will manifest in energy, in form, in colors, uh, whichever way it manifests. But recognize your own divinity and bow to this divinity inside of you. When you say Namaste, you bow to your inner divinity and you bow to the inner divinity of, of the person you are addressing. 
So salute yourself, awaken yourself, recognize this, your wholeness, your divinity within yourself. It is like um, your soul is like a great sun and, 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 and this incarnation is like a ray of light that comes from that sun. And, and, and there are countless, countless rays of light that comes from the soul. And each of the if each of the incarnation is actually working for the soul, the soul needs all its incarnation in order to continue to experience, grow, and learn. So you are essential to your soul. You're not like a, like some kind of reject from the soul, who's an eternal being of divine grace that lives in heaven. Although, and and so understanding the preciousness of the experience, no matter what it is, it's like to to be reintegrated for for. Um, for the soul is is, uh, is a divine being and it is you. You are the divine being. You are the sun, the, the sun and, and this sun is connected to a great central sun that connects all soul for there is only one soul. But the sun is, uh, the, the, the soul is just as bright as the sun and, and you are this, this, this ray of sunlight. You're made from stardust and, 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 and this, this manifestation is very precious to the universe. So never underestimate the value of your being in this, in this body, in this incarnation and bow to yourself, awaken this divine light within yourself. Well, I hope this message resonated with you. I'm going to speak a bit about art, sing a song and put one more card with the Archangels. The painting behind me is part of a, it's a, it's, it was an abstract piece, although abstract paintings have to be very large, to be impressive, to be, to, to fill the space. But this is, a, and then I had it, the word paradise, it's in, in gold and, and it's got this, this, uh, this emerald green uh, aura. And it kind of really works. I really like it. It's, it has to be nicely framed. I had a friend the other day who passed by and she was like, uh, well, I really like this. If you want to give it to me, I said, well, maybe I'll think about it. But, uh, um, and, and this is about uh, 2005. It's from my series of interior. It's called the Jacob's Ladder. And it's like this person who's like surfing here and he's holding this light of truth. And it's like, and from the heart face, it's like this, this, this ladder that comes out of the Jacob's Ladder, it's something organic that grows. Ascension is not something fixed and strict. It is something that grows with each and each moment. Is we've been uh, we've been guided to grow and evolve, and so it's like a, it's my, my, the color of my lights. It's like white and yellow. It's the color of my ascension. And I'm going to present a series of paintings. It's it's all a 30 by 40 centimeters. It's a series. I started actually with this painting. It's, a, it's about a, um, a tribute to the great masters of modern art or art in general. And this was based on the, on the only self-portrait that uh, Modigliani made. So it's like it's a, it's a profile. It looks like a bit like this. And there's this mystery about the eyes. I just had the portrait of Jeanne Buterne, who was his muse and his wife. So they tried to get married, but. Uh, that's, um, but, but they were companions, and, and this is uh, this started in 2010, 2011, and it says Amadeo Modigliani, Art Master One. It's got a son, Gilles Mancillon, dated with his astrology here. This one is frame. It's the first one I did. So I started this this process. Uh, then I, the, the second one I did was uh, I wanted to do a portrait. It was uh, supposed to be Matisse, but then it turned out to be Gauguin. It's a portrait of Gauguin, and so uh, so I tried uh, with the astrology behind uh, Paul Gauguin. I, I really like it. I was gonna put some uh, some Taitian um, Taitian scene uh, here, and uh, but I feel like it's it's really true. It's, it's, well, the painting looks too well to me. I didn't want to dare touch it. Uh, then I did this painting of Leonardo da Vinci. It says. Uh, Connais-toi toi-même, know thyself, and it's a young Da Vinci with aviator uh, glasses, and it says Master Leonardo Da Vinci with his astrology in the back. Uh, I did. I, I bought also some canvases of the same format, but they turned out to be a little bit outside of the range of the. Um, and, and this one is called Behind the Veil of Illusion. I am. For it says I am here in gold. If you can, it says I am here. If you can see it. Uh, as I am here, and it says, so it's a little, it's someone that's emerging from the, from the cloud of, of the veils of illusion in this uh, violet aura that turns to the source, the Trinity, and goes towards the heart and, and, and the great spiral, and it says Gilles Mancillon, 2010-2015 here. And, uh, this was, was supposed to be, um, it was supposed to be a tribute to a great sculptor named Brancusi, but it turned out to be something else. And it's, uh, it's signed and dated in the back, uh, 2012-2015. 
And uh, it's actually, uh, it says dreams within dreams. It's signed and, and it looks like this big whale that's like a, like a boat and it's like it's carrying a painting and there is this divinity, this goddess that's looking into the cosmos and there is this statue on the piedestal and there's a guitar and then galaxies around it. Very subtle, I like it. This one was supposed to be a self-portrait for it has my own astrology in the back. It's got all my astrology, but it just says uh, 0010110. It's like my, my own persona is being diffused into this code of, of infinity. Uh, this one was supposed to be the, the portrait of Paul Cézanne, but then it vanished and it just became paradise, the word paradise. I've been working with this word, this, uh, this energy of paradise. I probably will, will do a serious portrait of Paul Cézanne. This one was a study for the portrait of Vincent van Gogh. It says Vincent. There's the sunflowers and the chair, and it says Vincent, and in the back, it's, um, those are little studies, they will be framed, it's the astrology of Vincent van Gogh. That's another study for, for uh, original, uh, for Picasso, it says Yo Picasso, like a self-portrait, those are like self-portraits in some sense, and it's like this little person that's like uh, holding all kinds of energy, it's like Picasso was very dynamic, he was super creative, always like uh, hyper creative, and there's this person that's hiding behind, and there was the DNA, the sun, and there was a Scorpio sign somewhere, I forgot where it is, uh, but uh, it's got the, the, this Pablo Picasso with his astrology. Uh, but then I finally, I, I went back and I'm, I returned to a very, um, to a more portrait style. And so this is the, the actual Picasso portraits I did. It's signed Picasso 19. Of course, it's, I, I don't pretend it to be Picasso. It's like Gilles Morsillon and it's got uh, 2019 Pablo Picasso with his astrology. But it's got this, uh, this African style portraits, a self-portrait he did in the 2007 with portrait with this uh, the idea of blue and blue and pink and it's got this harlequin behind. Uh, find it very subtle, very elegant, very um, and then, then I did this uh, this portrait of Salvador Dali uh, with uh, with the the astrology of Dali. Then I did uh, the, the one on Matisse. Very simple, huh? for Matisse was the, the, class, the, the apex of classical art and the simplification of that with the astrology of Henri Matisse. Then I, I started to return to Vincent van Gogh, and this is a Vincent, it says Vincent up there. And um, this is astrology. And I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm working, uh, last night I've been working on this, I still, I may have to change the nose, and for the rest of it it's pretty fine, the nose and the, and, um, and to sign it, it's a portrait of Modigliani um, with his astrology. And I started, uh, I have, a, I finally found the right uh, size canvas. I'm working on a portrait of, um, of Marcel Duchamp, another portrait of um, Giacometti, Alberto Giacometti, maybe uh, Mondrian, maybe Basquiat, Warhol, Beckman. I'm not really sure that they're going to be coming up. And so this is a pretty interesting for me to make the series of portraits in, in tribute to the great master. I might do Rembrandt so, and all those Goya, Velasquez, uh, who was a um, great master of the Italian Renaissance or Dutch masters. So we'll see in the future, for now I'm just covering the modern art, so to speak. I feel I'm going to do a song. Uh, hope you find this video interesting. I thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I'm going to pull one more card with the Archangels. It's a song of the Beatles about the cosmic, uh, very cosmic song, very beautifully written. It's, like, it's called Across the Universe. Words are flowing out like endless rain into a paper cup. They slither while they pass, they slip away across the universe. Pools of sorrow, waves of joy are drifting through my open mind, possessing and caressing me. Jahaguru Diva Home Nothing's gonna change my world. 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 Images of broken light which dance before me like a million eyes. They call me on and on across the universe. Sorts me under like a restless wind inside the letterbox. 
They tumble blindly as they make their way across the universe. Jahaguru Diva hmm. Nothing's gonna change my world. 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 Sounds of laughter, shades of life are ringing through my open ears, inciting and inviting me. Limitless and dying love which shines around me like a million sun, it calls me on and on across the universe. Jahaguru Diva Home. Nothing's gonna change my world. 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 Jahaguru Diva. Jahaguru Diva. Jahaguru Diva. Uh, thank you very much for, for sticking till the end. I'm going to put one more card as a final... Uh, oops, let's see what's uh, the escapee. Well, 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 we'll deal with... We'll take the escapee. There's two cards that escape. Uh, well, the first one is the Nine of Raphael. Make a wish. Your dreams are becoming reality. A happy time of your life. So it's about understanding there is genies in life. And those, those positive genies are ready to, to fulfill our wishes. It's like, um, so, so it's about trusting that you can ask and it will be given. And the other card is about changing your life. The Archangel Samuel. Sudden revelation that allows you to see, to, to, to have a glimpse on freedom. Do not wait until tomorrow to do what you need to do today. Uh, grasp opportunities that offer every change. So it's about letting go of the old uh, and, and trusting that the new can come in a glimpse, in a, in a moment of time, everything can change. Well, thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Namaste. <laughs>